Chuck Bartholomew, Carrie Paulson, Jerry Bartz, and Lee Timmerman. This is the Evening Report. The danger of tornadoes has been on most North Dakotans' minds the last two nights. Severe weather once again moved across the state last night and again early this morning. Residents at Hart Butte and those near Dickinson felt the brunt of the storms. We have two reports. Dimitra. The residents of Hart Butte are cleaning up after 76 mile an hour winds ripped through the lakeside area early this morning. Most of the mobile homes suffered at least some damage and at least five were completely wiped out. Yeah, we got a couple that were saved by like telephone poles and that are they to win. And uh, I don't know, there was one on the hill there, they just switched. And that is over the road somewhere, so just pieces. And that big one down here, it's just pieces too, that's all over the prairie out there. Swarnowski says his trailer was spared from the storm because it was well anchored. But Lois Berwick wasn't so lucky. And this is the third trailer home she and her husband have lost to the weather, the first two to flood. It was upside down. And uh, you can go in there and it's like the Poseidon adventure. <laughs> upside, you know, you're walking on the ceiling. <laughs> Along with damaged mobile homes, many trees were uprooted and several boats were wrecked. And even though many of the residents got a good scare, most are planning to clean up or replace their trailers and stay put. But it can be replaced. We, have, we were insured. You gonna put another one up? Oh yeah, you bet. <laughs> Marilyn Vetter, Meyer Television News. Dickinson's civil defense siren sounded at midnight following reports of 80 mile an hour winds and golf ball sized hail. Tree limbs were snapped. Dickinson's underpass was completely flooded. Power in the city was on again and off again, while the skies produced their own power. By 3 a.m., Dickinson had escaped its second severe thunderstorm in as many weeks. At the same time, the Gunwall family southeast of Manning was not as fortunate. They believe a tornado ripped through their farmyard. It got plumb still, and the next thing you know, the house just was more or less like shaking and stuff, and we're still alive. You know, it could have been worse. Half of Larry's garage was left in the tree. The rest went down the river. His three granaries were thrown 100 yards in three different directions. 